I really, really did not want to make this video. Today, I want to talk about something that not a lot of people are talking about right now, and it kind of concerns me. So I'm going to jump right into it here. Let's just start with them revamping the cooking. Bring it all down. They call it a revamp. And they said that they were going to start doing a revamp to the rest of the skills after cooking. They wanted to see how well received cooking was. And then they were going to do that for the rest of them. But it sounds like they're not really worried about how it's received. And it sounds like from this clip I'm about to show, that they're just going to go ahead and just do it to the rest of the skills anyways. Um, and so we went in, we uh, removed a bunch of dual stat recipes. We simplified down a lot of the different tiers for things like gathering foods and uh, crafting foods just to kind of, you know, bring it all down. Uh and the question is, is who asked for them to go in and simple, like to take out a bunch of the dual stat abilities to take out things? Who asked for that? I didn't hear anyone complain about the amount of stuff that was in the game. And now you're taking stuff out? You're wasting time and resources to take things out? Uh, cooking was one that we wanted to start with because we felt it was the lowest risk to be completely honest honestly i really hope that they don't go in and remove more of the lower tier items for players to use while they're leveling you're just taking choice away from the player please stop wasting time and resources taking things out of the game we really need things put into the game. Decent sized initiative, kind of going in and taking the trade skill and really kind of removing a lot of stuff, a lot of moving pieces. This next clip I'm about to show is the reason why I'm worried. And I was much more comfortable doing it with something like cooking than say starting with armoring or, Absolutely. Uh, or weaponsmithing. So we started here, use these learnings, and then as we move forward, apply that elsewhere. And that got me thinking, well, if they do that to the rest of the skills, what did the cooking revamp really give us? Like, they put time, effort, resources into doing the cooking revamp, and they're putting time, effort, and resources into doing other skills. So what did the cooking revamp really give us? Um, and so we went in, we uh, removed a bunch of dual stat recipes, we simplified down a lot of the different tiers for things like gathering foods and uh, crafting foods, just to kind of, you know, bring it all down. Uh well, I went and checked it out, and the cooking revamp took out the lower tiers of the Desert Sunrise. This was basically a recipe you could get in Brimstone, or you could buy it on the trade post. You can still buy it on the trade post, but they took out all the lower tiers of it, meaning you can only use it once you're level 60, when before the cooking revamp, you could use it it from level 5 all the way up to level 60. Bring it all down. They had a level 5 version, a level 20 version, a level 40 version, and a level 60 version. And they said that they were doing the revamp to get rid of a lot of the bloat, but I don't really see a point in getting rid of the lower tier desert sunrises for lower levels to be able to use throughout their journey. Um, and so we went in, we uh, removed a bunch of dual stat recipes, bring it all down. I guess maybe they're making the questing a little bit easier or something, and they think that people won't need the desert sunrise while leveling. But they also went through and removed all of the split food. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, basically you can get food to boost your stat. So like strength, intelligence, focus, con, deck. And before the cooking revamp, uh, there was split buff food, meaning that you could make all these weird and quirky builds and kind of just do your own experience and have fun with the building your character. It felt more like you had choices and options, but they ended up removing all of the half food and the split food, and now it's all just one stat. Bring it all down. And personally, again, I feel like they just took out player choice. It kind of felt cool being able to do the split attribute and split food and a lot of the times it was cheaper than the usual food so usually if you went with the split food you get a bit of a discount when you're buying your buff food just for example off the top of my head let's just say yeah it gave you 20 points if you had just con or just strength it would actually give you like 23 if you were using the split you would actually get more and it was just cool it just felt like you had more of a choice with how you built your class so again i don't know why they wasted time and resources uh, to take out all these lower tiers and to take out the split food bring it all down but for the lower tier desert sunrise there's really no point in taking that out you're just saying that lower levels can't use that type of buff food so they really have no idea about that buff food until they get to level 60 and when they're level 60 they still don't have an idea about the buff food unless someone tells them it just i don't understand why they're wasting time and resources on that um and this kind of worries me because they said they want to do this for other skills as well and i was much more comfortable doing it with something like cooking than and say starting with armoring or absolutely uh, or weaponsmithing so we started here 
use these learnings and then as we move forward apply that elsewhere and so for the other skills like what are they going to do are they going to get rid of the lower tiers of the gemstone dust bring it all down are they going to get rid of the lower tiers of the oak flash bomb bring it all down are they going to get rid of the lower tiers of the honing stone bring it all down and i feel like they're really just taking choice and options away from lower level players that are coming into the game it felt like i was being way more unique building my character before but now it just feels like everyone's using the same buff food there was like options and varieties before but now it's just oh 20 strength or oh 20 con it's like there's no variety everybody's using the same buff food and stuff now it really drove prices up it really ruined the economy on a lot of the things buff food is just super expensive now and before as i said you could get like split food for a little bit cheaper than just the pure food so for new players that want to do opr and they're gonna be popping a lot of buff food. It's just another barrier to entry that they're gonna have to grind to do when before they could have been like, oh, I see that this split food is on like a bit of a discount. I can do this instead of going for the straight um, straight con or the straight intel intelligence or the straight decks or whatever. And again, they're wasting developer time and resources on this when like no one really asked for it. Like I didn't hear any players in game ever say like, hey, you know what would be really good? And they just like totally took out um, the lower tiers of Desert Sunrise and then revamped the cooking so all the split food is gone. Like, I don't know why they're wasting time on this. Bring it all down. Another thing that they're wasting time on, I feel like that they're wasting time on, is for example the PvP free-for-all island. Um, again, this is just something that no one really asked for. No one was like, oh, I wish that they did more open world PvP things. We have the open world PvP races, and I feel like that's kind of good enough. We have the races, we have the fort captures, but we have two pretty solid ways of open world PvP. Again, like they're wasting time in the wrong section, like they're revamping the skills um, and taking out a bunch of stuff from the game when really they should be revamping the PvP mission for each faction. The PvP missions, you don't really see anybody on the routes anymore. So you basically, if you're running faction PvP missions, you go to your faction guy, you get your missions, you run your route and you don't really see anyone. There's no really interaction. There's no really PvP there. Those need to be revamped so you are seeing people on those routes. They need to move the areas of where the quests are and stuff. I feel like that would make that another open world PvP source that's already in the game, but they're probably just gonna leave the faction PvP mission and you're probably gonna see no action when you're doing it. But the PvP island, again, they're, no one asked for this and then they're wasting time on this instead of giving us an OPR map or another 3v3 map. Instead, they're giving us more open world PvP that no one really asked for, like no one really was talking about oh um it'd be cool if we had an island I, I heard it a couple times here and there but it wasn't like a high demand like the new opr map is a way higher demand than this pvp island these were just two examples i feel like the video is long enough i had more examples i had more to talk about i this video could have went on for at least another 10 minutes but i feel like uh i got the point across enough i feel like this should just be talked about at least in the community a little bit I feel like not a lot of people are really talking about this um i feel like it's been pretty glazed over since the uh announcement at the uh at the summer's fest wasn't uh that good people are more focused on that but i feel like them taking things out of the game should be talked about i feel like the time should not be wasted on this especially again taking things out of the game even the pvp islands or the opr map anyways if you guys want more content um like this more new world content more tips tricks guides other video game content uh check out my channel like comment subscribe i'll see you guys next time Peace.